Hi, this is Hunter the Hunter Mackinnon, and welcome back to another video talking about video game manuals. And today we're talking about one manual specifically. So this is the manual for the Legend of Zelda re-release for the Game Boy Advance. I've previously done a couple of videos talking about Bergsala, the Nordic distributor for Nintendo games. And there are many creative ways that they would translate character names in video game manuals. Now, when this port of the original NES title, Legend of Zelda, was ported over the Game Boy Advance, Bergsala was no longer the cross-Nordic distributor for Nintendo games. During the GameCube and Wii era, the distributor became the toy company AMO. But Bergsala clearly still remained active in Nintendo products, even at this point. In fact, they're Swedish and Danish contact information is still on the manual. And what I came to discover about this particular manual is that in the Finnish sections, the enemy names have also been translated. Now, you will notice that the Finnish translation is in parentheses with the English name before it. Now, I did not own The Legend of Zelda on NES, so I have no idea if these translations are accurate to the manual as it was released on the original system. But if you remember my previous video on video game manuals, around this time, Berksala had already stopped the active process of localizing character names in most Nintendo games. What they would do in most cases was maybe translate some common terms for certain items and such, and even in those cases, if the item had an English name in-game, they would print that one in parentheses. So if they decided all of a sudden to just randomly translate these character names for the Game Boy Advance release, that would be pretty interesting in and of itself. But some of these translations are pretty hilarious, and because people have been requesting a follow-up to that manual video, I decided, well, I'm sitting on gold right here, so I might as well just do it. Now, sadly, I am going to have to disappoint you in saying that Link, for instance, or Zelda, or Ganon, do not have any funny original names. I seem to recall that in the manual for A Link to the Past, they for some reason decided to translate Hyrule as Hylia, which is technically not correct because Hylia is a different region within Hyrule in the lore of the Zelda series. Sorry if you're not able to tell that this video isn't scripted, by the way, you are going to notice it now. I'm going to quickly just go over the names and mention the ones that have not been translated, so people don't have to start asking about them in the comments. So I'm looking over the first page here. Well, <laughs> I guess I guess this sort of counts. Um, the rocks are listed in the uh, manual, but uh, they don't have the English name for rock. That's literally just the Finnish name for rocks. The Zoles and the Gels sort of haven't been translated. They are in the sense that they have the uh, Finnish end suffixes uh, for the plurals, which is that IT part. But yeah, it, that's not really translating. They kind of did the same thing with the Vires and the Keyses as well. Garaya is also not translated. I'm also noticing that there's a lot of direct translations as well. Like Like has not been translated, which is really funny because the way you would pronounce this in Finnish would be Like Like it. All right, I think that's the, all of them. Yeah, yeah. All right, so now we can start going over all the different names. First of all, uh, I really love the translations uh, for the Tektikes and the Octoroks, and the translation scheme for the character names is very similar all the way throughout. The Tektikes are called Hamurit, which I think is a take on from the Finnish word for spider. I think I might have talked about that in some older video. And the Octoroks are called Lonkeroiset, which I think is a lead-on from the word Lonkero, which means tentacle. So you could say it's the tentacle ones, and the Hamurit would be the spidey ones. However, my favorite absolutely is the Leavers. It doesn't sound as funny in Finnish. They're called Vajulaiset, but Vaju means to stalk someone. So I guess you could call them stalkers, uh, in a way. Pihat is just a direct translation, Hernehattu. That's the, uh, again, that's the uh, inflected form. Now, Moblins, this one is really, really funny. Uh, they're actually referred to as orcs in the uh, actual descriptive text, but they are called Lurkit, which is kind of funny because I think Lurkia means to skulk around or something like that, but this is also what we call Lurch in, uh, from the Adams family in Finnish. All right, the name for the Armises is really, really funny. They're called Karpasit, which is really, which literally just means like a big buff man or something to that effect. I guess you could call them Chads if you wanted to. Guineas is a bit unimaginative. They're literally just called ghosts. 
while the Lynels are actually called guardsmen, as in somebody who is a part of a guard. I guess you could also call that a trooper. Oh yeah, Zoras are not, also not translated. Okay, this one is another really funny one. The ropes, which are the snakes in the Zelda canon. Uh, yeah, it's a stupid name. But the Finnish translation is actually even funnier in my view because Nauhat literally means strings or, if you will, you know, the kind of uh, paper bows that you would put on uh, Christmas presents and stuff like that. Stalfos is kind of interesting. They've been translated as Lumiehet, which literally means bone men. Now, I'm not a big fan of the translation for the wall master. They call them Murimestari. Yes, Muri technically does mean a wall, as in like the wall of a castle. I guess the more direct translation, Seinemestari, probably wouldn't have sounded that much funnier. With robes, however, I do love this one because it's sort of a direct translation, not entirely, but it means the hooded fellas, Kaapuniekat. The translation for the Dark Nuts is kind of funny because well, it's sort of following on the same tact as the Tektites, Octoroks, and Leavers, as in... So I guess they are trying... So basically what I think this name means is kind of like the Dark Ones. It kind of also could be translated as the Gloomy Ones, which, I don't know, both of them sound kind of funny. Paul's voice is not very uh, creative, it's a direct translation. The Len Molas is called A Thousand Legs, which is not technically the Finnish name for a uh, caterpillar that would be Tuhat Jalkainen, which does literally mean something with a thousand legs. All right, and the Gibdos again follow on this slightly descriptive route. They're called Kariot, which I would be, which the best way I would describe is a rap. The Moldorms are literally called Wormies or Worms, I guess. Now, Dadongo, this one is hilarious. It's a compound word, and it's kilpi maura, which means a shield or a shelled badger, which is not at all what I would have thought. I mean, the dongos are clearly dinosaurs, so what? I would have expected some kind of a lizard name with that one. Manhandla, which I think is probably one of the funniest Zelda enemy names, is called nielukukka, which is the swallow flower, which is kind of... oh boy. There's a whole different level of wrong there. Now, Aquamentis, I actually think this is kind of a cool one. It's called Vesiainen, which means kind of the watery one. But this one has kind of, uh, it's difficult, to, it's really difficult to explain in English, but it kind of has like an old Finnish feel to it. It feels like the kind of thing that you might hear in, for instance, Kalevala or something like that. Patras is called Herhikki. And I think that's a lead on of, uh, from the... Um, word for herhilainen, which means a hornet in, uh, in Finnish. All right, and I don't know how to even convey this next one, the dig dugger. Uh, I remember this guy from uh, the cartoon that me and Aqualung did for his uh, Zelda review. Man, I'm getting sick of all these green tiled rooms. <laughs> The Dig Dugger's Finnish name means Piki Körmu, and Piki, if you might remember from the Mario Names video, of course means Spike. Körmu, however, is technically not a word. I think it's possibly a last name, and you could maybe understand it as something as meaning uh, gruff or grumpy. It's actually the name of this character from a series of military farce comedies called Sergeant Major Körmu. So, yeah. Wait a minute, it's, it says that it's a grotesque, spike-covered urgen, uh, which <laughs> bludgeons you hard. They literally use, they, they're using really funny uh, finish in this. They're, they clearly didn't take this too seriously. Goma, actually, I think this is a very appropriate translation. It's called a cave crab, which is, you know, appropriate. The Goma lives in a cave and it is a type of crab. Gliak, however, not a very good translation there. Uh, it says Hönkäjä, and I think it's me, and it's really not uh, easy to translate. Literally, it means a breather, but it comes from the Finnish word for breathing fire, which is we don't use the actual Finnish verb to, for breathing, uh, which is hengitä, we use Hönkäjä. So that's where it's coming from. It's trying to kind of, uh, you know, uh, point to the fact that this is a dragon, uh, dragon-esque, 
a monster, but it's it, it's kind of a dumb translation. I don't really uh, like that one. And unfortunately, Bubble, yeah, is another direct translation. Literally, literally just Kupla, which by the way, ironically, is also the Finnish name for the Volkswagen Beetle. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little look into the Zelda manual. I'm Hannu the Hannu Mackinen. See you on the next one.